Hello everyone and welcome back to another Miss Darkness stream where we play Skyrim. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So last time we did a lot of random sort of quests, uh, we got the Black Star from Azura um, and we did a various other things. We got a new house, Mythwatch, uh, which was somewhere down here somewhere. Pfft, I can't remember. It's somewhere over here. So what are we going to do today is a very good question. Um, there is another quest that I think gives us a house, but you have to read a book in Solitude, I think, to get it. So let's see if we can do that. So it's in the Winking Skeever. So just try and find a book on a table, I suppose. Any book. Any book at all. We'll read it. I'm not picky. By blade or by spell. If you want it dead, I'll make it dead. All right. All you need to do is Don't need uh, your help. I can tell you that for free. Hmm. Where does one find a book in a pub? Oh, this looks like a book. The Restless. Okay. Have you heard the tale about the pirate who challenged an emperor? I'm sure you have, for neither Gallo's rope nor history's pen can erase the Restless legend. So long as crews hoist sail and fare the seas, they'll sing shanties of Oh Critus, hero of Sturus. Mikal, sorry pronunciations, um, but what became of him when the fighting was done? If it were only a tale, the book would close, but life has a habit of adding pages where they shouldn't be. Some say he sailed west to lands of uncharted, but others contend he took command of the legendary ship Dead Man's Dread and sailed north, drowned by the stories of Tobias. There he hunted for treasure, new and old, all across the seas of ghosts. Over time he amused a great fortune and lived out the rest of his days on calm waters. Where this fortune is now is a mystery long forgotten. You'll hear the talk of a black bone isle, but you won't find it on any map. The last man who claimed to know its location was a pirate by the name of Coven, or is that an R? Rosen? <laughs> One of the two. Yet as a wanted man of little clout, he died in Castle Dower Dungeon, taking the fate of the treasure with him. A strange end to a great tale, but who knows if the writing's done, for a man's hunt for gold is as restless as his desire to be free. Probably just take that book just in case, you know? Might be a clue in it. Who knows? Uh, so we should have a quest from that. The Restless. So optional, convince the guards to gain, give you access to the jail cell. Optional, get arrested and go to jail in solitude. Uh, find the pirate's corpse in Castle Dower Dungeon. And I'm not going to get arrested because I'd rather not. So let's try and just convince the guards. I mean, they should do right because we're pretty well known for all of our good deeds and shit. And bad deeds as well. <laughs> as many good as they was bad. But it's fine, right? Nobody needs to know about that. Castle Dower Dungeon. Open. Okay. Do we need to sneak? Are we allowed down here? You gonna tell me off? Nope. He doesn't see me. Cool. <laughs> Sneaky like. So it should be down here somewhere. So there should be some stairs somewhere, right? Right? Hey, stairs. Very dusty stairs. Lots of cobwebs. Oh. Oh. Hi, friend. Don't even think about it. I didn't do anything. Uh, I you would hear like to the go news? In. The Emperor yeah. has been murdered. Right here in Skyrim. By the gods. Fascinating. If the Dark Brotherhood can do that, nobody's safe. I need to inspect this cell. Can you open it for me? Okay. Just this once. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Just because we asked nicely. Thank you. Appreciate it. There's a letter. Fifteen men, a sunken treasure, and a lost ship. That's what I left behind. It took less than a day to sail to Blackbone Isle. Captain said we needed, needn't worry about the cold, so we left the furs and packed the steel. Seemed like an odd thing. No one but us knew about this place. Still, didn't matter much as we were making good time. I reckon we were about a league away from the cave when all of a sudden the wind died there came up behind us saber rattles like ice rafts next thing i hear is the screaming 
I jumped onto the skiff, but the bastard loose and started to paddle. Didn't have time to look back. Now time's all I got. Maybe if we had more men or a sodden priest, we could have made it. I've got the map at least. Hid it under a loose brick behind the bench. I just need to get out of this dungeon before the sickness takes me. Well, I can tell you, you didn't. You're dead, mate. So, I need a loose brick. Oh, it's telling us exactly where it is. Excellent. Find a spare boat and travel to Blackbone Isle. Uh, so let us get out of here. Snappy-like. Apparently we didn't need to stick. They're totally happy with us being down here. Because we are superior. And they know it. We are probably their commander of some kind. Or something like that. Right, let's go. So, how does one get a, a ship? <laughs> does one just find one lying about the place? It's pointing here, so that must be where our spare boat is. So if we kind of go to here and travel down, maybe? Hopefully we do not fall off of this mountain, because knowing my luck, we probably will! <laughs> Although, it's not the steepest of mountains I have stepped off. Ooh, none route. Probably should take my horse. Oh well. Maybe my horse will follow me. Let's hope so. Probably hasn't, has it? Yeah, you lazy sod. You're up there somewhere. God damn it. <laughs> Fine, I shall walk. Shall take me many moons. But I shall gather all of the ingredients on the way, including all of these lovely Nern roots. Yay! Nern rooty goodness. Ooh. Slaughterfish eggs. Uh oh. That sounded like a mad dragon. Please don't be mad. I am friend of dragons. Big and small. Uh, there is people over there. <clears throat> and that ship looks sunk. Not uh, not really alive as a ship may be. Are we going to do like a Pirates of the Caribbean on them and like steal their ship? I mean that one is definitely sunk. Kill the Blackwater Bridgerton boss. I could do that. Ooh. Preferably. Don't just shoot at no one. Um, so we have bone arrows. I don't know if we need bone arrows. They're quite expensive. So maybe let's swap to one of our lesser arrows. Still rubbish. Uh, actually, it did get him, so a little bit better. <laughs> Take them out. They'll never know what hit him. Was a sneaky person. Ooh, 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 ooh. We've got a wizard on our tail. Just a scratch. Black Water Bridgerton. We are Fall back. No, don't go in the water. Or, or do. Make no difference. You still had to die. Silly's note. Ooh, more of this Nordic stuff. I think we already have the chest plate. I don't know if we have the rest of it. So I might take the rest of it. Blackwater blade. Absorb sand. Uh, sure, let's take that as well. Why not? Oh, complete. Retrieve the blade. Oh, we were supposed to do that. I knew that. I thought we were supposed to steal their boat. And all of their loots. All of their pirate lootness. Do I want to go on the ship? Probably not. Am I going to go on the ship? Absolutely. Well, there's nothing up. Well, that's kind of depressing. Any... Any treasures? Any treasures? Give me the treasures! Let's see... Oh, there is... There is loots. Uh, not the best of loots, but there is loots. And there is a body. It is also empty. Well... We did find the treasure. <laughs> there wasn't much. Probably wasn't worth it, but we did it. Yay! Let's go! Bone... Black Bone Isle. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh! Zombie type thing! Hello! Goodbye! Please die. Faster! Thank you. Orphan's Tear? Oh no, that was... Fail zombie. Actual zombie. James. Okay. <laughs> this place might be a little bit scary. There's another broken boat over there. Is this the same place? Wait, where's it? where are we on our map? 
Ooh, we're in the middle of the sea. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's go look for the treasure. Ooh, this is looking pretty piratey. Got a nice little ship in a cave with skeletons. At least they're not zombies. Skeletons at least break upon impact. <laughs> Nothing over there. Fail. Stand still. <laughs> Many thanks. Might be more things about the place that we need to be suspicious of. Could be anything. Anything at all. Okay. Ooh! A hidden. Or is that just the same one that's just wobbling about the place? It's probably the same one. This is looking pretty snazzy. Badoop! <laughs> Extra badoop. Oh. How do we get that so badly wrong? God damn it. There's another one somewhere up there. Here he comes. Come investigate, my friend. No, don't stand on the stairs. Yay! Not behind the nets. We must kill you. Thank you. Jesus. Anyone else that wants a little bit of action? I need to go around. Don't need to all fight at once. Don't know why I pick those arrows up, but I'm doing it. Don't use them anymore. We are severely at arrows. None of this ancient arrow rubbish. Ooh, honeycombs. Delicious. Oh, more honeycombs. Does honey go and go off? Because I feel like these skeletons have been down here long enough to become skeletons, right? <laughs> Maybe it's like Pirates of the Caribbean situation where they've, you know, they don't die. Silver ore. Dig that. Don't really need it, but it's there and it's now mine. No, no, no. Ooh, a chest, eh? Boy's yellow tunic. Hmm. Don't want that. It's a bit cobwebby. I think this can be our house, but like, I don't know if I want a cobwebby house. Rather it didn't have skeleton bones all over the deck. Got to hire someone to clean it all up. Jesus. How much effort that is. I claim thy vessel as my own. Shall be mine. Dead man's dead. What? Dead man's dead? Or is dead man's deed? I don't know. I didn't read it. I should probably read it. Hello? Creaky. Creaky. Need some uh, oil or something? No, we are gonna go and investigate them. We've only got nine of these arrows left. Oh, that's gonna hit the bloody thing, isn't it? There you go. Exploded! Uh, is it just him? Or was he on his own? Poor guy. So lonely existence. All on your lonesome. Anyone here? There is a pile of bones on this bed, but I think they're dead. Just shoot them, just in case, you know. They died in their sleep. Oh, poor guys. Get woken up with an arrow to the butt. Be super awkward. There's loads of poison everywhere. Okay, further in we go. Okay, downstairs. Let's stay on this level for a second. Oh, it's really creaky. Hi. Goodbye. <laughs> you thought he saw me, but he saw nothing. Maybe he'd just been staring in the same spot for so long that he didn't realise. Explain the darkness in the mist darkness. Uh, I like darkness because uh, <laughs> there's no real explanation behind it, to be honest. It's just like being... I was slightly gothic, so, at the time. So it's kind of darkness, you know. It sounds slightly gothic. I don't know. There's no real explanation behind it. Is that guy dead? I think he's dead. It also sounds kind of cool. <laughs> It's all there can be to it. Stop with the creaking. It's so loud, so annoying. We're too wealthy for all of this. I mean, wouldn't mind keeping the boat though. Although it's gonna always be docked here. It would be cool if you could like actually move it around. That'd be pretty awesome. Okay, so that goes back down. Anything else on this level that we wanna see? Maybe? Potentially? Ooh, alchemy room, eh? Fancy. Oh, I think we do get this as a house, but it's like, do I really want to live on a boat that's got skeletons and dust and stuff? It's pretty cool. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's pretty cool, but it seems a little inconvenient when it's nowhere near anything. But then again, we can fast travel to it, so it could be useful, I suppose. 
but then we do have like much more convenient houses that are more house-like and less boat-like <laughs> so we shall see hello there creaky where are you creaky is he behind the bar typical died bartending <laughs> terrible much prefer to have died drinking rather than bartending like a dungeon area oh we, we definitely need a dungeon area you know for all of our prisoners we are part of the dark brotherhood after all it is needed to have prison cells okay let's go back up see what else there is is this the captain's quarters Ooh, a chest Stytros' boots and his clothes, quite valuable. Well, they're not really useful. But they're valuable. <laughs> Fine, we'll just we'll just take it for our collection. Why not? We always needed more things in our collection. <laughs> Give me the body. Thank you. Jesus. How dare they forbid me from having my monies. Ooh, there's a gem on the floor. Captain? <laughs> Sucks to be you. You're dead. I'm gonna steal your sword now. Cool. And all of your gems. You don't need them, right? They're mine now. No, no, no. Convenient of you to leave your... Oh, why is your safe empty? It's kind of sad. Captain's Journal. Uh, 28th of Last Seed 3E39. We set sail on Dead Man's Dread in the summer to take advantage of the karma winds. Yet this person saw fit to throw us off course and now we find ourselves stranded in a fog with no sun or stars to guide us the crew is blaming the young navigator Kavi for steering us into it in truth I only brought him on board because the old captain took ill and we were desperately short on men full of heart fire one of the crew Asfir says he was once a priest of Okay, and used to perform the rip the rites. He believes the former captain was murdered. I'll keep this between him and I until I know more. Twenty second of Heartfire. I've kept the date by marking the back of this journal, but there are times I forget, and in truth, I don't know whether it's the sec twenty second of Heartfire or the first of New Year. But the cold is enough to tell us that winter is on its way. We'll need to find land soon. As the men are getting nervous, there's been three fights over rations in the past week. Worst yet, I'm starting to lose my head. There are times I, lo I look west and see the golden sands of Strasmokai on the curve of the horizon. So I have to force myself to look away, knowing there's nothing there. Second of Frostfall. We finally managed to find land in this barren frost. The men are joyous. Based on the markings inside the grotto, it looks like we've reached Blackbone Isle, an old pirate den of all things. Many of us were cautious before we ple pledged ourselves to the crown, so perhaps coming here was more than luck. Either way, we can't be far from the mainland now. We're heading south for Skyrim in the morning. Third of Rossville. We are a crew of dead men, and this ship is our tomb. The entrance collapsed in the middle of the night, sealing us inside. Still, we might have found a way back to shore had the forebear among us, Kavir, not sabotaged the skiff. It's my crime as much as his, for I'm the one who brought him aboard. For his past, the forebear made no attempt to resist or escape. In fact, he readily admitted to the deed as well of the death of our former captain. He wanted us to know exactly who it was that he served, so that every crown would know that nowhere in Tamriel was safe. We put him in the brig and left him to rot. Some of the men wanted a more creative punishment, but the reality is there's no worse fate than the one he doomed us to. Fifth of Phosphor. The situation is dire, the food stocks are depleting and half the men are crippled with fever. The crew have no delusions about what's coming next, but we can still die with purpose. Before the old captain died, he told me that the sabre on his wall belonged to Cyrus. 
himself and that it was worth more than a thousand ships full of plunder. I never asked how he knew Cyprus or how he came upon his sword, but I know protecting the hero's legacy was important to him and now that honour falls to us. I gave each man a choice. Some opted for the drink, others chose a more dramatic exit. As we depart, we will pray to Akaya to bring our souls to the ship, just as Prince A. Tor was bound to a gem so many years ago. We will protect the relics of Cyprus and honour the crown. We will do in death what we could not do in life. Ooh, interesting. Let's take it. Because we read it all. We must take our book. Excellent. So, he is dead. And it's now our ship. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, hello. Hello, are you mean? Are they going to be mean to me? Ghost sailor. I feel like they're gonna be mean to me. I feel like we should probably shoot them in the back before they shoot us. <sighs> oh! That was a fail. <sighs> yep, they are coming for us. Uh, hmm. Okay, right. This may be problematic. How strong are they? Probably not that strong, and we can probably sneak and they'll never find us. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 he might have found us. He might have found us. We're not here. Die quicker. Oh, missed. Awkward. Get him in the butt. If they can't see us, then we never existed, right? Right? Yeah. Take it. We shall steal the sword and there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing. Boat waist clothes. We don't need this. Got captain's clothes. Way more important. <laughs> we will take your lockpicks though and your fire arrows. Many thanks. Or is there going to be a whole army above the land that we have not seen? Ooh. Do we not go in this room? It's kind of creepy. I'm gonna just take this things. Flute. Necklace. Anyway. <laughs> running now. Hmm. Ooh. Does someone live? Among the dead. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Good thing we're extra sneaky like. He didn't see us. But we saw him. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Why am I using iron? No, don't use iron arrows. Give them to this guy. We don't deserve such terrible arrows. Uh oh, there's more of them. <laughs> Get them! Ghost captain! Oh god. It's fine, he doesn't see us. No, no, no. Maybe. We may or may not have killed your captain. Don't ask questions. Oh, he's found us. Have you met Gary? Uh, where's my bow? Oh my god. Eh. I can try though. You cannot blame me for trying. Take it. Right, so that's that one. Has Gary killed you yet? Yeah, good Gary. Ooh, bone arrows, eh? Fancy. Did we loot the captain? I don't think we did. Captain's boots, captain's clothes. Fancy. Might as well nick it, because we can. Uh, yeah, so that was the Restless then. So technically that's our boat now. We claimed it, it is ours. Now what? Probably head back, drop off some stuff. And then we can let's look to see if we can do another thing. There is the guest I've for dinner. I've been looking Ooh. for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Oh really? Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Pirate's note. Uh oh, the pirate left us a note. Uh, pirates, 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 pirates. Where does one find pirates? <laughs> Under P. Good damn it. They say a pirate's home is the sea, but the bottom of the ocean is no place to breathe, let alone live. But word is you found a right old ship on the isle. 
on an isle far off the coast. If you can't sail it out to open waters, it may make a good home. Just a little advice from a restless soul. Cool. So that's basically the deed to our house. Also known as a ship. <laughs> I mean, it is cool. It's definitely an interesting house to have. There's ghosts. Ghosts, I tell you. Um, yeah, it's a definitely an interesting house to have, but it's not shiny, and I kind of like shiny. And this one also has way more armor stands and stuff. So it's cool. It's definitely cool. Cannot fault it for being cool. I will eventually hang everything up in my house, but I haven't got around to it, okay? It's, it's, it's on my list. Do you need something, sir? Nope. Sorry. <laughs> Nothing. All right, then. Um, so yes, we have... Oh yeah, it's such a cool guest for dinner. There you go. Attend the banquet feast. I received a letter from a courier mentioning a banquet feast is happening at a large manor south of Frostfall Lighthouse. I should visit the hall and attend the festives. It's festivities. <laughs> festives. Okay, let's do that, shall we? What is that? It is a wizard. It is a wizard. No, horsey. You don't have much health. We still haven't healed you. We're a really bad owner. It's fine. He's paralyzed. Get him, horsey. Stamp on his back. Oh, I sh shot Shadow Mare. My bad. <laughs> Was not my fault. You moved. Aragonian? No one special one. He's just an Aragonian. Ooh. Ooh, he has lots of loot, though. Staff of Healing Hand. Oh, that actually, we could probably use that to heal our horse, come to think of it. Uh, it's under a weapon, it's right. Staff of Healing Hand. Does that work? Heal. Heal harder. I don't know how much we need to heal you, but I'm just going to do it until I say so. It's probably enough. <laughs> Be helpful if we had a health bar for you. There is a bear or something down there that I'm hoping we don't need to tangle with but we'll probably end up tangling with it because bears hate me as has been proven last episode when we had like 10 bears after it probably wasn't 10 it felt like 10 or 15 one of the two it was a lot of bears okay in a very short period of time there was a whole cave of bears in fact or less yeah there you go found it Blood chill cavern discovered. Dun dun dun! Let's have a little look. Speak to the waiter. Waiter! Ooh, this is like a manor in a cave. It's awesome. Got a little waterfall. A little bit of sunlight coming in from above. I mean, it probably gets pretty damp and cold, but we don't need to worry about that. <laughs> Real life isn't isn't this kind of life. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? None of you look like waiters. Yes, sir. Vermin. Should we talk to this, some yes. of these people? See what's going on? I like your outfit, but you do kind of look like a vampire. Yes. Are you here for the dinner party? Indeed. Are all the guests present? It would seem so. Wow, you're, you're chatty, my friend. Until next time. And, yeah. hmm. Fertile soil. This is looking very vampire-like. I'm not a vampire. They're probably going to fight me. <laughs> Hello. Yes. So we can ask to be seated. We can then say I'm hungry. We can ask for see the menu. <laughs> can you show me to my table? Let's let's see the of menu. Course. Am I on the menu? Dinner menu added. I hope I'm not on the menu. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit curious to see if uh, we are on the menu. Drinks. Firebrand wine. Altro wine, entremet, dark light souffle, a twist on the au gourmet, it's a famous recipe, uh, blood red venison with tomato sauce, grilled goat leg with marrow brew. It doesn't sound particularly vampire-like. Don't vampires only eat blood? Pretty sure that's that's what they say, right? Oh, um, there is blood on that. Hmm, hmm. Not sure I'm all that interested in this uh, wine all of a sudden. This is looking like a lot of armor stuff. I like this guy. This guy's pretty cool. Unless he comes to life, in which case he is not cool. Not cool at all. <laughs> okay, I'll take our seat then. Read the feast note. Please read aloud. 
If you are reading this, I am dead, and so you will have to hear my toast in, sp in spirit. Of course, a little business first, as I have no living heir. I have decided the manor will be betrothed to you, provided you finish this last meal. As you know, I have always loved dinner parties, and so, for my final dinner, I've decided to have a few friends over. Vernon, you and I shared a long and fruitful business partnership, but you altered the books to give yourself a larger cut. Don't think I didn't notice. Uh-uh. <laughs> Marina, you were my first love, but also my first mistake. For your love was not mine alone, and for that I never forgot. Ingrid, you were my ward, and in some ways I considered you a daughter, but a daughter does not plot to steal an inheritance, so I will teach you this lesson as a father would. Uh, Lilith, we fought in the war together, and our bond is in many ways sacred. Yet I know the horrors you committed to survive, and while I dismissed it then, I cannot now. Uh, Galtras, my old imperial friend, who used to drink wine with me at the vineyard. Uh, one night you drank too much and saw fit to insult my family. I told you I forgave you, as you were drunk, I did not. Uh oh. Lastly, Kira, we have never met. I've brought you here as a whim. You are here as a wild card, a chance to change the fates of my friends, or to revel in it. Much like my fate in the next world, it's far more exciting, you see, if the future is unknown. And with that said, drinks are served. Ooh. Okay. So you all want to inherit his manor, and I'm just the randomer that is also present. Oh, Jesus! Oh, they did come to life. God damn it. I was really hoping they wouldn't. Uh... Uh, uh, this is not good. This is not good at all. <laughs> Please heal me. <laughs> It'll be faster. Uh, yay, paralyzed. Now paralyze this guy. He seems pretty mean. Gargoyle. I was kind of hoping he came with the house. <laughs> uh oh, we killed Gary by accident. My bad. <laughs> that one's down at least. The weight is coming up though. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Please stay away from me. Please stay away from me. You can't hide from me. I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> Die. Die. Whew. Thank God. Good old bone arrows. If it wasn't for you, we would be dead. Uh, ooh, moonstone ore. Oh, that would look so good on us. Is it light armor? Oh, it is light armor as well. <gasps> you know we got to try that on. You know, you know we got to do that. That is, that is a necessity. Oh, and they have it in black as well. Although, obviously, we're going to want the red one. You know, it's kind of obvious, isn't it? <laughs> Fine clothes. Anything? Oh, <laughs> we're just going to sit down and finish the meal while everyone's dead. Don't ask questions. Need we don't. Something. Oh, oh, you survived. Dawn guard. This is awkward. Uh, do I still get to inherit the house if if Need you're here? Something. Uh, Dawn guard. What are you looking at? The vampires are all dead, and the will says the house belongs to me. Very good. But you've created a debt between us. Here, take this. We're even now. Uh oh. What do you mean? Why was there a debt between- oh, because he's survived. So, I get the house. Cool. Ooh, sweet roll. My weakness. No! Nom 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 nom. Okay, this is a pretty cool house though. Oh, oh my god, it's huge! Okay, maybe this is the house that we need. I feel like we have vampire vibes, right? <laughs> we have that, that, that kind of look to us. I mean, there is a lot of blood everywhere, but I think that's fine, you know. We're not ourselves a vampire, but we inherited it from a vampire. Juniper berry. Oh, they look tasty. I don't know what it is, but it looks tasty. Okay, so this is the kitchen, dining, servant dining area? I don't know. That looked like a proper dining area. So, there's so many directions. I don't know which way to go. Oh, oh, okay, this way looks like it ends in one room. Um, what's in this room? Okay, this is a servant's- Oh my god, it's got a little vampire plushie! Oh, oh, I want it! Oh, no, that one. 
I want it. I want it so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to carry it forever. I'm going to pick it up. This is mine now. This this comes with me on my travels. Oh, there's another one. Oh my god. Okay. That is the best. I need one of those in real life. Please. <laughs> what is this? Glass Warhammer. Ooh, fancy. Uh, uh, ooh, so this is like a smithing area. And nothing in those chests. Well, there's something in this one. Okay, yeah, it's more smithing stuff. Cool. Is this a dungeon? It's a little dungeon. Not a particularly big dungeon, but it is a little dungeon. Every vampire needs a dungeon, right? And what about this way? Okay, so this is sort of a um, enchanty area. Cool, I like this book. This book looks fancy. Uh, okay, some display cases to put stuff. What is these? And you do you put uh, armor stands on them? Like what are they? I don't know. I'm not en I'm not familiar enough with anniversary to know what they are. <laughs> more books and stuff, more enchanty stuff. Cool, cool. Little f little place by the fire. Excellent. He like half cleared out his whole f house before he died. You know, it's kind of weird. So this is the master bedroom, maybe. I feel like this is the master bedroom, right? What is that? Potion of blood. Excellent. Just what we needed at the end of the day. <laughs> Definitely gonna keep that there. <laughs> you know, just uh, blood of our enemies. And ooh, a coffin that we can sleep in. Ooh, and a little wardrobe area. Also, a looty area. Vampire royal armor. Ooh. That sounds cool. I don't know if I should pick it up if I pick it up I won't be able to put it down exactly where it is and that would be problematic cool this is actually a pretty pretty sweet place it's very gothic very much got character to it no I like it I, I honestly I'm convinced that we should probably change our house to this one because this one is better I mean granted it's not the biggest it is pretty cool it's more my style, you know, it's vampire and stuff. I really wish there's a gargoyle that sits here now, though. Can he come back? <laughs> Can we request him to come back? <laughs> but yeah, awesome. So that is another one of our anniversary houses. Uh, probably the best one, in my personal opinion. I mean, who doesn't want a mansion in a cave that vampires previously owned? <laughs> you know, it's got, it's got character, it's got history. It's a bit more, bit more exciting. Oh, I was going to try on the, the outfit, actually. Should we try that on? Oh, it's pretty sexy. Did they have gloves with it? No, they have boots. Our boots look better. Eh, uh, maybe. Here they go a little bit better, don't they? Oh, it does look pretty. It does look really nice. Maybe we will change to that one. How much armor is it? 45. Ours is better, though. But it's not as sexy. <laughs> okay, well, that's cool. Uh, what are we doing next? Let's put our stuff away and then we need to decide on our next quest Could be anything anything at all Probably not gonna be another house quest because we've already done two of those I mean technically the boat one wasn't the most impressive one, but we have already got it mm, not that one, that one. Also, do these chests have no limit because I've been putting so much into it and it's like not full Which is pretty good be annoying if your chest filled up and then you wouldn't be able to store all of your precious loots. Oh, we're keeping our vampire doll. Our vampire doll lives with us. I wish I could like tie it onto my little backpack and then it could just sit on there. It'd be great. It'd be really cool. Let's try that. Oh. There is a dragon. Jesus Christ! You need to come down to me so abruptly. It's kind of rude. Uh, have you met Gary? Oh, he looks like a pretty vicious dragon to me. Uh, let's, oh, we should probably equip the dragon rend as well. Just in case he tries to fly off. We don't want that. It's an elven one again. Elven. Elven. Might be elven, you don't know. Pretty sure dragons can't be elven. Well, he might be. Go! No, come back. Oh, I totally missed that. No! <laughs> that was so stupid. Gotta wait for it to come back. Jesus Christ! 
you have to land on me? I mean, I'd rather not get dragon butt to the face. It's kind of rude. My sensitivity is so, like, low because I get motion sickness. So I have to, like, aim for its chest because I can't get its head quick enough. Unless I'm, like, here, in which case I can. But I might hit Gary by accident. Yay, we did it. It's a pretty cool dragon. Dragon bones, dragon scales. Oh, now we're going to be fat, aren't we? Ugh, fine. I'll drop it off in my house. Because I can't bother to sell it. <laughs> I will go to the shop at some point, but... We went to the shop a lot early game until we got our proper house. And now I can't be bothered. I'm feeling lazy. What can I say? Just put all of our stuff in our cellar and eventually I'll sort it out. When I can be bothered. Which will probably be much later on. <laughs> what can I say? I'm lazy. 6am? 6am a good time to farm? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that looks like it. A sad time. Um... Is this place always so gloomy? Yes, and I couldn't tell you why. My wife and I think there's some dark magic at work. Or perhaps RK's influence is strong here and he likes to keep it this way. Who died? Our daughter. Our little girl. She hadn't seen her tenth winter. No. Oh. Who did this? Sending. Came true as a laborer. Seemed like a decent man. He's stewing in the pit while we figure out what to do with him. If you've got the stomach to look at him. What could drive a man to do something like this? How did she die? She was. By the gods. He ripped her apart. Jesus. Like a saber cat tears a deer. We barely found enough of her to bury. Why does the town have such a large cemetery? The cemetery is ancient. It's been here longer than the town. I'm no scholar. But I know that a lot of battles have been fought here over the course of history. After each battle, more dead were buried and the graveyard got bigger. I heard it's now the biggest graveyard in Skyrim. Jesus. Sounds bad, doesn't it? Okay, to... So there are stories in Farrakh of a strange... Fulgrant who savagely killed a little girl. And then we gotta go speak to them. I don't understand what kind of man does that. A very, very sick man. Whoop! Sorry, didn't mean to throw your cabbages around the place. Oh, who's this dude? No, but he's uh, he's dead. Whoever he is, cool. <laughs> Don't ask questions. So, where are we finding this person? Somewhere this way. Hi, come talk to me, topless man. That's also really creepy and disgusting. Need something? Come to gawk at the monster. I hear you attacked a little girl. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just lost shrinking. control. <laughs> I tried to tell them, but none of them believe me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. What ring? This is the ring of Hersing. I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to, but I'll never know. Hersing didn't care for my taking it and threw a curse on it. I put it on. And the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times. Like with the little girl. What kind of transformations? I don't suppose there's a point in keeping the secret if I'm going to die in here anyway. I'm sure you've heard of men who shift to beasts under the influence of the moons. Maybe I'm one of them. I am one of them. <laughs> a werewolf. It's my secret and my shame. That's why I wanted the ring. Hey. <laughs> it was said to give men like me control. Now, I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. I know. Um, who is Haxri? Haxri? Do you not know the Daedric Lord of the Hunt? He revels in the chase and also gave the gift of lycanthropy to mortals. A powerful force not to be crossed. As I learned too late. Uh, why did this make you attack the little the girl? I had just come into Falkreath. They needed some help work in the mill, and I thought that would be something safe, something I could do. When I saw the little girl, I was just I could feel it coming on. I could taste her. I needed to hunt. 
but this pitiful, limited body wasn't meant for hunting. Slow, no claws, weak, mashing teeth for shoeing cud. I held in my rage as long as I could, but it boiled inside of me. She looked so fragile, helpless prey, and then I... I feel terrible about what happened, about what I did. It would probably be best for everyone if I just went away. Probably. <laughs> you did a sick thing, my friend. Uh, what will you do now? I've been looking for a way to appease her scene. There is a certain beast in these lands. Large, majestic. It's said that her scene will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my accident with the child. I want to beg his forgiveness. Give him back the ring. But while I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free. I'll take the ring to them. Oh my. You would do this for me? Here, take it. I, I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore. Seek out the beast. He wanders these woods. Bring him down and... Well, the Lord of the Hunt should smile on you. I wish you luck. But you leave here while I still have my skin. Should our paths cross again, I will remember your kindness. Farewell. Who says I'm doing it for you, Mirand? I just want the ring. Oh! Is he gonna climb out? Uh, so, okay, so he climbed out the well. Oh, that's where they kept him in the well. Gotcha. Let's go find it. Da -da -da. Shouldn't be hard to find, right? Right? They're going on a beast hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. I think that's what, originally it's bear hunt, right? So, oh no, we can't go over it. We can't go under it. We must go through it. God, that's so old. I haven't, I haven't thought about that in years. <laughs> no, butterfly. Sorry, another one. You're supposed to be hunting beasts, but butterflies and mushrooms. Nom, nom, nom. Could be anywhere, anywhere at all. It's probably in the woods. That makes sense. Uh, do we need to go upwards? Probably should follow the path. That's why it's there. Well then, better get walking. Oh, uh. owie! One's attacking me. Oh, it hurt me. Help me, friend. I got attacked by something. Felt like a bee. Might have been a wasp. Oh. Okay. I'm staying out of this. We're staying out. Thanks. Cheers, Where mate. <laughs> Jesus, don't die. I got you. No sign of them. That's yeah, because they're dead. Uh, cool. Don't know what that was about. Not gonna ask. I'm just gonna keep going on my way. <laughs> Probably best that way. Right? Don't want to anger the things that aren't human. Oh, goodness sakes. I'm pretty sure I've done this before where I've like killed them because they were annoying me. On their bridge. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Stand still. Stand still. I don't want to waste this arrow. No, stop walking. Thank you. Thought that was going to go over his head then. I was like, no! Uh oh. Oh! Threw boulders at me. That one's gonna hit me in the head, isn't it? That one's gonna hit me in the head, isn't it? Oh god. Eh. I think we're good. I think we dodged. And we weaved. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. To kill a beast. In uh, this way direction. Mushroom, 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 mushroom. A snake. <laughs> no, stop it. Getting distracted by your ADHD. Well. Someone has to. Um. Oh! Oh! This is a problem. This is very much a problem. Uh. Uh. Oh! Oh, okay, we just have to chase it. Ooh, fine. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be something really mean. Uh. I'm not very fast, am I? Oh, there you go. Run! Run faster! I can't, I can't, I'm stuck. God damn it, where's it gone? Come back! Come back! You have a very tasty butt. I must eat elk for dinner. Is it an elk? I don't know. Something. I don't know animals. They just exist. 
Where'd he go? It's, take, it's taking us up to the mountain tops. Get it, 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 get it. I think it's dead. Oh, get it again! Get it! Get it! I can't get it again. I can't. Now what? <laughs> uh, this is awkward. Hi. Oh, what is this? New perks become av available after feeding on enough corpses. Each new perk requires a feed. What? I didn't know you got the werewolf perks. Oh my god, I have played so little Skyrim, haven't I? Okay, <laughs> fine. Oh, there you go. You timed out. Well met, hunter. Are you Harry? I am the spirit of the hunt. Just one glimpse of the glorious stalker Ooh. that your kind calls her scene. Uh, what would you ask of me? Your fealty is precious to me. I will make good use of it. You bear my ring. The one who stole it has fled to what he thinks is his sanctuary. Just as a bear climbs a tree to escape the hunt, but only ends up trapping himself. I know. Seek out this rogue shifter. Tear the skin from his body and make it an offering to me. Oh. Um. It shall be done, as you ask. Fly, my hunter. There are others who vie for my favor. A bit of competition. Don't dally while the prey flees. Okay then. Not gonna... Not gonna question it. I'm just gonna do what the magical elk says. Or stag. It's a stag. Okay. Ma the magical stag tells us to do. Fine. So you stand here. I'll go get the gnome root. And then we can ride to the place that we need to go. Oh yoink. Let's go. Oh, that sounds like another dragon. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is a little bit steep. Uh, should be fine, right? We're not going to plummet to our death, right? Maybe we should save. Just in case. Eh. Do -do -do. Probably get off the horse, to be honest. Horses are notorious for falling off of mountains. But I didn't. Actually, I'm definitely going off now. <laughs> that looks really steep. And there is something trying to kill us. It is a dragon, obviously. Cool. Can you wait till I get off the mountain before you try and murder me? Please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate. Bloated mate's grotto. No, no, no. Bloated. Uh, okay. Do you want to fight? Come on then. Bring it. Are you a friend or a foe? You don't seem very friendly. Mercenary. Oh, that's probably fine. Where's the dragon gone? Oh, where did you guys come from? Jesus. Oh. I literally cannot see him. Oh, there he is. And it won't let me use my shout. For some reason. So not equipped. Shouts. Dragon Rand. There you go. Cool. Kill him. Take him down, friends. Oh, it's a named one. We don't like the named ones. They're particularly mean. Although he's going down pretty quick with these arrows. These arrows are good, huh? Probably not waste them too much. But we can use them on dragons. They seem to come back to us anyway. Or well, at least most of them do. Okay. Mm I think we're good. Alright. <laughs> we have places to be, Jesus. Let's go back to our cave, wherever it went. Somewhere over there. Do I have any more shouts that I need to unlock? Probably. Uh, shouts. Yeah, we have dismay. Add. And the weak shall fear the fun. And flee in terror! Sounds good. Uh, drain vitality. One point for health per second. Drains one magic per second. For 20 seconds. Drains one point of recharge. 
Sure. Oh, marked for death. Speak and let your voice hear if heard doom as the opponent's armor and life force are weakened. Cool. There's quite a few uh, words that we haven't discovered yet. But that's fine. I don't tend to use many shouts, which is probably bad. But, you know. <laughs> I'm a noob, what can I say? What's inside here? Are we gonna get our butts bitten off? Probably. Let's be honest. Oh. Oh. Hmm. This does not look good. Oh dear. He has killed. He was supposed to be a good person, but has he is not. Plasmon called you, fellow hunter. What happened here? The prey is strong. Stronger Ooh. than the hunters. But more will come. Bring him down for the glories of Lord Hirsin. Oh. Oh. He's dead. This is quite a nice cave that he's found here. It will be a nice place for him to die. Ooh! Bat things! You! Why? Why? Because I've been told. I've been told to kill you. And I would deserve it, wouldn't I? I can't stop you if that's what you want to do. Her sing is too powerful. But you spare me. I can be a powerful ally to you. No. And I would promise to never return to civilized life. I know now that I can't live among people. I cannot defy Hensi. You must have to die. So be it. See ya. See ya. <laughs> okay. That would have been a very nice screenshot if my bow wasn't in the way. It's not. Woo! I was like, let's not touch those. Oh, went straight into the other one. Awkward. Good thing he apparently did not hear it because he's deaf. Ooh, Elven Greatsword. Looks paper thin. Um, <laughs> cool. All right, let's just walk in the middle and you don't hit them. Do you see him, Gary? Do you? Do you see him? Oh. As day comes. <laughs> Gary, why'd you have to die suddenly? God damn it. <laughs> no! Aha! Uh -huh. We went. Tear the skin from his body. Jesus. Why not? You done well, Hunter. Ooh. I did as you asked. And found my favor. That skin will serve you well, child. Look more closely at it. My glory shall protect you from all this world's grievances. Good hunting. Thank you. What did you give us? Savior's hide added. Hmm, Savior's hide, eh? Oh, looks pretty fancy. When did you get the time to add all of this metal and pointy bits? <laughs> increases magic resistance by 15, increases poison resistance by 50. Ooh. Oh, it's light armor as well. 48. Won't really go with it what we're wearing currently. But it is cool and we potentially will wear it. I think it's it's not better than our thing, is it? No, of course it's not. Nothing's better than this one. Cool. Well, that was that then. <laughs> okay. We have officially read every letter in our thing. So investigate the traitor's post. So this is Mr. Merchant. I received a notice from the Yarl Stuart regarding a missing person. I should head over to traitor's post and see what I can learn. Okay, let's have a little look at that one then. Seeing as I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing for this one. It's so cold and snowy. How does it not annoy the horse that it's like snowy hooves, you know? I would really hate to have snowy hooves if I was a horse. Not that I am a horse, but if I was. Or that I will ever be a horse. Okay, I feel like we're here. Traitor's post discovered. Does that make us a traitor if we're here? Whoa! What are you fighting, horse? Fighting a, a, a fox? What did the fox ever do to you? Jesus! Oh, I really should change my arrows. Uh... Okay, let's quickly do it while that one is paralyzed. 
because I don't want to waste my lovely bone arrows on such feeble people. Uh, we can use the orcish ones. Owie! That hurts! Oh, missed. Awkward! Stand still. No, nope, that wasn't still. That was not still! Stop hitting my beautiful little horsey! Oops, I totally hit my horsey. My bad! It's really annoying when your horse wants to get involved with all the fights, you know? I love you, Shadow Mare, but you can't enter this building. God damn it. Can you get out of the way? Look, look. You need to get out of the way. Come stand over here. Out of the way. Right out of the way. And let me handle it. Yes. Thank you. No! Bad horsey! <laughs> God damn it. And you thought I was just a pretty face. I mean, aren't you? Uh no, you don't even have that. You're not pretty enough. Leave my horse alone, thank you. Uh, yeah. Get out of the way, Shadow Man! God damn it! Into the face! Get him! This is why we don't take horses nice places. They just embarrass us. Don't you, Shadow Man? You love to embarrass me. Ooh! Looking pretty vampirish, huh? Blood coming from everywhere. <laughs> Doing enough of vampire quest? Immobilizing? Ooh. Ooh. That could be good. Uh, ooh. It's a little bit. A little bit bloody in here. What happened to him? Why'd you get him naked? Why's he got a broom? <laughs> Don't ask questions. It's not for you to know. He was having a good time. That's all you need to know. Was he? Was he? Don't know. Doesn't look like it, does it? This one? <clears throat> My new friend Gunther and I are getting along quite well. The other bandits are already getting jealous. He really was a fine gift. I should thank my brother Edward before I slit his throat. Wow, okay. Jesus. Uh, the thing I like best about my good friend Gunther, he can keep a secret. I tell him all sorts of juicy tidbits and he never says a thing. He reminds me of my old companion, uh, Skoljo? Skoljo? Skol? Something like that. And the time we nearly got murdered by a Daedric cult. There was a ton of good loot in that place. Haunted artifacts, blood sacrifices, things that make lesser men want to hug their priest. <laughs> Nothing that would frighten off Gunther, though. He's quite sto stockic, stockic, like that. Uh, sitting in his chair. On top of that, he gets along with everyone. It doesn't matter if they're short people, fat people, tall people, or cat people. <laughs> That's the thing about my old friend Gunther. He doesn't judge. Anyway, when I got to scare him, I sold most of my loot. We piled up over the years, seeing as wanted men have to travel light. The heaviest piece I sold was a set of Daedric Malay uh, to a caravan, Khajiit named Madram. I like the armor, but in the end, I had no choice but to get rid of her. She knows what she did. Besides, if I wanted to get her back, I could always trade something to something of equal value, like the ring of Massa I ripped off the merchant at the Crescent Moon's Inn way back when. Me and the Furbles, we have history. The ring is worth at least two sets of armor or 20 pairs of boots. It can fortify your illusions magic, just like the book says. The books get a lot right, even the parts about me, except I'm much prettier and taller in real life. Uh, <laughs> either way, I don't need to cast spells to run this new crew, so I'll let my best friend Gunther wear the ring. I think it looks really good on him. Cool. I think Gunther was dead, though. <laughs> I think he was always dead. I don't think he was your friend at all. I think he was dead, and you forced him. Forced him. Uh, trade the ring. Okay. Are they going to move by the time I get there? Probably. If it's the caravan, I think it is. Is the ring worth anything? Ring of masses, illusion spells cost 30% less. Could use your stamina by 20. Sneak is 20% better. We could use the sneak. I mean, my ring is 35, so it's actually better. 
illusion spell. Does Gary count as an illusion spell? It is better than my ring. Kind of looks the same, but it's better. You just don't do it. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do it with gold because we have we have gold. Let's go find this other person before they run away. Oh, they're literally here. We did not need the horse. I'm lazy. I must horse everywhere. Okay. Uh, you, sir. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? Uh, I understand you were sold a set of Dejgama. That is the truth. Uh, you should trade it for this ring. I just no. Uh, armor stolen. Trade it for this no. I'd like to buy it. <laughs> okay, okay. You've talked me into it. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> We're rich. Uh, what is the armor? Let's have a little look at it. Ooh, that's a pretty cool helmet, huh? Ooh, it, oh, it's that's light. I like light. And it's 80. Oh, oh, it's way better than my armor. And it's red. I like red. I love it. Can't wear the helmet, though. Even though it looks very cool. It is heavy, and I don't do heavy armor. Will this look terrible if I put it with my thing? Stand here. No, that's, that's, that, that, that works, right? It looks pretty, pretty wizard. Yeah, yeah. It's not so bad, it's not so bad. I already have it, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, we probably need to head back then and put our other armor away. Actually, was it even better than our other armor? I mean, granted we can enchant this one and then make it better. Uh, so it was 80. Oh yeah, it's way better. Way better. No comparison, but we do need to enchant it. I don't know if I have any good enchants though. And we get to keep the ring. That's the most important part. <laughs> we could we could have traded the ring, but the ring was that he had was better than our ring. So we might as well swap these. Not worth it otherwise. <laughs> we can disenchant and re-enchant and all that good stuff. Uh, there it is. I know where it is. Oh, I just picked something up. I don't know what it was. Awkward. It probably was a gem of some kind. So we can disenchant this paralyzing thing. We can disenchant our old ring. Keep our necklace. Oh, we don't need to anyway. Yay, that's good. Okay, so... Daedric helmet, Daedric armor. Fortify. Uh, spells, not really into that. Conjuring. Destruction spells, destruction spells, fortify health, increase your health by 20, increase your heavy armor skills, we're not using heavy armor. Illusion spells, cost 5% less, again, not using that, increases light armor skills by 8, magic regeneration 20% faster, that could be okay. Restoring spells, yeah, that could also be okay. Restoring spells by 5% less to cast. Magic generates 10% faster. Smithing. What my stamina? We haven't got very good ones, have we? I was hoping we had some better some better skills. But we just don't. I don't know if you can disenchant something you've already enchanted. So I don't know if I want to waste a bad enchant on a good bit of armor. That is a good shout. What about our feet and our arms? Because if we can enchant those, that will at least be something. Uh, sneak. We can do sneak. Not the best sneak upgrade, but again, we're not the highest enchanter, which is probably why it's not great. But I think it would be better than nothing, so let's just put extra sneak on that. And I use the, I use the bitter soul gem. No, I shouldn't have used that one. Oh well, it's fine. Um, what about with our handy one? Lock picking. Lock picking's always good. 13%. Four, five archery we're 100% on archery anyway so I don't think we can do more damage than we're already doing I suppose technically we could but I mean does it really matter we're kind of shit at lock picking <laughs> should probably increase it I don't know if you'll ever get this armor back though it seems like a one in a lifetime kind of armor right I think I think I'm not gonna risk it I think I'm just gonna leave it disenchanted for now because it's it's good enough as it is that we can leave it for a bit and then hopefully we can find a better enchantment from something else that we can use it instead. Cool. Should we try on the helmet? I mean, I'm not going to wear the helmet because it's heavy, but it does look pretty wizard. Uh, <laughs> so not cool way of saying things. Oh, it does look pretty cool. Yeah, 
yeah, that that is, that is a cool helmet. It kind of reminds me of uh, Lord of the Rings quite a bit. But yes, as I said, not going to wear it. Even if it is super cool. Where's my... There it is. We could just do one of the ones on our thing. That might be easier. Give alms to the beggar. I received a letter from a mysterious woman named Tala Bloodfire who claims to be from a bandit clan. She would like me to be her judge and executioner. But first I must prove myself. I must offer a beggar... A beggar... Alm to, at the Windtown docks. She needs a gift of gold, bread or wine. Sure, let's do that. <laughs> Why not? We'll probably do uh, gold because, you know, that means I don't have to do anything. It is simply already in my inventory. And leave the horse here because horses can't swim. Well, they can, but they're not very good swimmers. No offense, horsey. <laughs> yes, I'm taking this cart with me, apparently. <laughs> don't ask questions. It is my cart. Mine. Uh, okay, so in a this way direction. Whoa. Whoa. Don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. No, no. No, no. <laughs> Slide. Slide harder. Oh. Okay, we're fine. I didn't panic. Not one bit. I didn't think we were going to die. Mm -hmm. Felt like we were totally fine. Swimming along. Just as one does. Can't jump from the water. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. I found a way. <laughs> what if someone fell off and they were drunk? They'd have to swim all the way around. Us. So what? I don't appreciate them right back. I don't appreciate you either. Beggar. Mm. Uh, here, have a hundred gold pieces. Instead of alms, I will pray. <laughs> no, let's give him a hundred. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. All right. Welcome. Uh, meet Tamara at the shrine west of Windhelm. Okay, where's the shrine? Oh, it's there. Ugh. Ugh, more walking. I'm fast traveling and then walking. <laughs> Do not test me. I am lazy. Where's the horse? Oh, it's the horse back there. God damn it. No, it's here. Ha! Ah, Shadow Mare, you're the best. We love you. Jump. Woo! Oh, we're good. <laughs> oh no, that looks that looked way less steep from where I was. Maybe it was quite steep. No. No, we can climb it, right? <laughs> right? Huh, huh, parkour. This is not parkour. This is called jumping. Well, <laughs> One does not simply walk around the cliff, one tries to jump through it and up it in a terrible attempt that looks stupid if anyone was to watch, but we did it. Yay, I didn't have to walk round. That is a win in my book. What was that? Uh oh, 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 oh. Okay, they don't like me. Good to know. Uh, have you met Gary? Let's put our bow back on. Some You're mean. I don't like mean people. A bow needs. Uh, our bow needs chanting again. Common grand. Uh, do -do -do. I should really check if I've got a uh, better enchantment now. So we have two ebony bows, so we could do that. <laughs> it's paralyzed. Sucks to be you, Takira. <gasps> That is me! Ooh, ebony plated. That's pretty fancy. Not that we can use it because it's heavy, but it's still pretty cool. I won't say no. First off, I'm sorry about the test. My hope that it would give me a window into your mind and bring comfort to me. You gave the beggar a full purse of gold. You're someone who goes above and beyond putting the lives of others above your own. But not even a thousand septums can save the life of every man, woman and child. So my advice to you is not fall victim to your kindness. There are people like me who will take advantage of it. And there are times when you'll have to make a hard decision for the greater gain. Save who you can, but do what you must. Lastly to the ones I knew in life, don't mourn my death. As one of you once, as one of you once told me, when all you do is look to the past, it's time to close the book on one's future. I do so on my own terms. Goodbye. Oh. Oh. Right. Interesting. Is that it? Cool, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Anyway. That was quick. That was easy. 
That one's like a repetitive quest. I, I, there needs to be a way that you can like remove repetitive quests off your bar so you don't have to look at them anymore. I suppose if I did it and then didn't approach her, it might go, right? Uh, I may be able to recover two special weapons with Wardrum, which will allow me to enter the Elder's Crane. Ooh. That could be cool. Silence tongues. Oh, it's this place with the Emperor killing place. I did say I was going to come back and do this and then I totally forgot about it. Oh well, we're here now. <laughs> That's what matters, right? Right? I bet this skeleton's going to be alive again. Do you need killing again? Probably. There you go. Put you out your misery. For the third time. <laughs> don't know why he spawns back in. It's kind of pointless. I know he's there. Uh, okay, whatever. Let's go this way. And find said weapons of weaponiness. Oh, we have a floater. He's only slightly floating. But he is alive nonetheless. Oh, this one's a proper floater. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Don't know if I killed him or paralyzed him. I think he's dead. <laughs> oh, there's another. We have many a floater in this land. And someone walking about the place. <laughs> Where are you? I hear you, but I do not see you. There you are. Hi. Goodbye. You have friends? Oh, good for you. They shall be dead too soon. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Oh, at least they're dead together. Look, they can be in love together forever. All you need now is a pillow couple of blankets and you'll be good for good for the rest of your lives right <laughs> unless you don't like each other in which case it would be super awkward but it's fine <laughs> at least you're not alone oh, I saw you uh oh he's a little bit meaner than the others and he is a mean friend uh, how have you met Gary Gary mm, get him show him you're the bestest Watch out to you too. No, come come this way a little bit. Yes. Get him, Gary. It is I feel like his mask is gonna be mean. Shall we put on our nice bone weapons? Because <laughs> we're brave, that's why. <laughs> you fell over. What sword does he have? A glass sword? Kinda looks like a glass sword. If glass swords were invisible. <laughs> eh. More or less. Get him! Get him harder! Show him- Oh, Gary, you're useless. <laughs> it's fine, he's paralyzed. And dead. Ooh, ebony. Oh, we had quite a few ebony arrows. That's good. We, we're running out of those. And an ebony bow! Excellent, we can try all of the enchantments. We can get one of each enchantment. This weapon does not look that great. Uh, I'm not going to read that. I can't bother. I'm being lazy. I've read quite a lot today. Uh, more than I usually do. Even if I stumble quite heavily when I read it. At least I read it slightly. Anybody here? Oh, there is. And there's also a flappy door down there. <laughs> flappy. Badoop. No. You're not supposed to live. You're supposed to die. Brutally. Don't walk down the stairs. Kind of stand still so I can murder you. Please. Thank you. Uh, flappy door. Don't stand on the trap. Don't stand on the trap. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Good. Whoa. Where did you come from? Were you standing there the whole time? You're just so ugly I just didn't notice you. <laughs> I thought you were a rock. My bad. I mean, can you blame me? Whoa. Surprise! Oh. He doesn't see us. We can surprise him again. Surprise! <laughs> He's paralyzed. Stupid bastard. To the groin! <laughs> um, anyway. I don't have a vendetta against him. Not at all. Do I want to loot these people? Probably. Ow. Oh, probably shouldn't have jumped. Oh, it didn't hurt me. Yay! Anybody who... Ooh. See, that was good timing. Hey, how are you doing? Great, great. In a non-cool, cool way. Uh, what am I looking at? What is 
this room? Oh! Dip it. I am not here. Go about your business. <laughs> there must be someone here. No, I assure you there is nobody here. Go to sleep. Thank you. Good thing we're so sneaky. I mean, we're not really. We're quite clunky. We just wandered in there, expected not to die. Just because we have really sneaky boots. Did they not see us? <laughs> we're made of shadows. Ooh, we have to put the things in the thing. Ooh, no. <sighs> so much disappointment. Put the put up. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. He did both at once. Good job. Ooh, this is a special looking door. Open. I feel like we didn't need both weapons, to be honest. I feel like you could have opened that with just one. But maybe the lock is a extra special. And means you have to have both. What is that noise? I don't like it. It's a bit... Oh, he looks a bit crisp. Got too close to the flames. Burned himself to death! There is a wall nearby. I can hear it. There is also something wobbling around that sounds awfully like a spider. I don't like spiders. They're creepy and crawly and all nasty. Oh, you're not a spider. You lied to me. <laughs> Stupid. I prefer when they roll down the hill. They look way funnier when they roll down hills. Just saying. I'm available for death. If anyone wants it. Oh, there's one. Do we need to kill this dude? I feel like we need to kill this dude. Some ebony ones. It's probably over overpowered for this, but why not? I do what I want. Kelvin the Tongue. What an unfortunate name. <laughs> you can paralyze ghosts? Well, that's news to me. Uh, sure. Whatever. Oop. Got your butt. <laughs> cool. So, what does he have? Ooh. Oh, it's prices. It looks cooler than it is. Ed Ed Edgar? 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 Something like that. Takes 10 points of frost damage. Ooh, a chest. I like chests. Yay, more arrows of arrowiness. And more ebony bows of ebony bonus. So we don't need that one. Staff of Falma. Sure, we'll take that. Take this invisibility potion. Not that we need it. We are already invisible in plain sight. We're so smart. What does the wall say? Tell us, oh holy wall. Life. Or a whisper. Huh. Oh. Uh, let's not waste ebony on him. He does not need it. He is way too weak for such things. How about a nice orcish one? He deserves such things. There you go. Oh, he had a friend. Boop. Anybody else wants to attack me on my way out? It's kind of rude to take me on the way out. It's okay on the way in. All the way out, I'm, I'm already full of loot. It's suspiciously rude. This little glass helmet. That glass helmet looks absolutely tiny. Why does it look so tiny? So we are too heavy to pick up such things. What's this dagger? Oh, but that's a dragon priest dagger though. We have to pick that up. A minor maze. Oh, it's not actually about mazes. I thought it was just going to be a book full of mazes. Been very exciting. Apparently we can still pick up that dagger, so that's fine. Oh, this isn't the way out. They lied to me. Okay, fine. Fine. It was a place of flutes. Ooh, there's another loot chest over there. How does one get that loot chest? Eh. Uh, okay, it might be a, a jumpy mechanism, which I am not skilled at. Duh, no, no. <gasps> okay. We did it. Totally skillfully. So... I'm probably not going to have enough time to do anything else today, but thank you so much for watching this episode of Skyrim, and we 
if you are watching this on YouTube and stuff, make sure to like, subscribe and all the good stuff. Or follow if you're watching on Twitch and make sure to check out my YouTube on Twitch because uh, we do upload all of our Skyrim streams onto my Twitch so you can look at all the historical ones as well. Uh, but thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!